running on her. I have a question, Stuart. Can you share? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Um, in a situation where other people are saying to you what the way you think is wrong, what you do is wrong, whatever, how do you, when the outside world is one thing and you feel another way, how do you learn to trust and find what the truth is then. Oh, wish I've had that all my life. And initially it bothered me. I couldn't talk to my family about what I do. They thought I was crazy. Friends, oh, well, yeah, they thought I was a little bit wacko. You know, and eventually you get to the point where it really doesn't matter what other people think. The only thing that matters is, is what you're doing, whatever it is, does it work for you? Does it help you to grow? Are you building a strong inner life because of it? Is it giving you uh, an ability to see what's real in the world and what's an illusion? And you have to understand that most people live in a state of illusion. They're chasing things that are transitory. They're chasing things that, uh, you, know, you know, God knows what they're chasing, you know? But it's transitory, it's not permanent. And what works for each and every one of us, you know, is sing simply the most important thing. And eventually you get to a place in yourself, it doesn't matter what anybody says. It really doesn't. It's not important what people tell you. What's important is, are you growing? Is your life expanding? Are you, are you strong enough to deal with other people's objections to the way you live? Are you strong enough inside yourself to attract people that truly support the choices that you make. It's very easy to criticize other people, very difficult to pierce the veil of illusion and find what's real in your own life and then do it. Because that's the thing that is really helping you to become a human being, to develop your system inside to where you're connected to spirit and other people's opinions i mean god knows i mean it's like it re ultimately you get to a place in your life where it simply doesn't matter what anybody says you know as long as you can forgive them not get upset at them <laughs> not be angry at them because they comment and have opinions about the way you live your life, what you do, your spiritual practice, your religion, whatever it is. And I, you know, and, and you can just forgive them. They know not what they do or what they're talking about. And most people have opinions when they have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. It's based on their own prejudices, what they think is right in life, and, you know, it's like Voltaire said, I disagree with what you say, but I would give my life for your right to say it. Now, that to me is consciousness. You don't have to agree with everybody, but you have to give people the freedom to live their lives and not walk around like, a, you know, a, you know, one of these, you know, Inquirer magazine, Star magazine. You know, tabloid magazine, newspapers commenting on how everybody lives. And the incredible thing about this is nobody takes a look at themselves. How are you living? What is your life doing to get you closer to God, a spiritual life? 
And if people would just do that, I mean, they would keep their mouths shut and let the world be. <laughs> let it be. More people have been killed in the name of religion than just about anything that exists on the earth. Because people disagree with the way other people live and what they believe in. You know, it's all nonsense. So, you know, what I'm saying is very simple. Get strong enough in yourself to where no matter what anybody thinks about the way you live, it simply doesn't matter to you. You can love them anyway. Their words do not put you down. You can only be put down if there's real deep weakness inside yourself. If a part of you depends upon the external world to support, instead of depending upon your connection with God and spirit, building that kind of system in yourself, having that chi, that power inside that enables you to truly live your life, make your choices. <clears throat> I mean, most of my family think I'm nuts. I really mean it. And I don't, you know, I really don't care. I go to their this, their that, their dinners. It, it absolutely doesn't matter to me what they think. It stopped mattering to me, you know, decades ago. Because I knew what I do in my life really works. It works for me. And it works for people that do it. And I, and I don't expect what I do to change the world, but it can change individuals. And it certainly has changed me. So, you, you know, all these people are telling you with all their opinions and the way they think you're doing and not, all they're telling you, Lisha, is get stronger. Because if you develop that inner strength, you will, you believe in yourself. You believe in what you do and how it's helping you in your life and how it's helping you to have a spiritual life. And it's not going to matter what anybody says. God bless them. You know, let the people have to let the world be. Let everybody find their way. I mean, it's a funny thing about this is that, you know, my next piece that's going to be posted is kind of about this, you know, letting each and every human being find their own unique connection with God. That's my job. My job is to tell you what to do with the rest of your life. My job isn't to make a yogi out of you or a Hindu out of you or a Buddhist out of you. My job is to nurture each and every person that comes to these classes so they can find their own unique way through life. Not my way. Nobody's going to find my way through life. But each and every person needs nourishment. They need love. They need support. They need shakti. They need spiritual nourishment. And basically, that's what I do. is not to tell anyone that ever comes to my class how they should spend the rest of their life, what religion they should believe in whether they should vote Democrat or Republican or whatever kinds of parties run in the countries where you live. It's not my business. My business is to nurture people so they can grow inside themselves and have their own unique path to God. I mean, their unique path can completely disagree with what I do. And it's not my business. My business is to nurture people not to convince them that I'm right. <laughs> and I would only have wars on my hand, battles. You know? But just to nurture people, let people find their path. And respect whatever religion people choose to be part of, you know? whatever faith they have, whatever race they are, whatever country they live in, whatever kinds of food they eat, you know?
Now, it took me a long time to learn this. And it came incrementally, gradually over time. I built a system that said, not my business to tell people how to live. I mean, I once had a, a woman come to me when I was living in Texas. I'll never forget this. And she was a student of mine, you know. And she came to me with tears in her eyes. She said, Stuart, how can I study with you? I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. So I looked at her with a smile on my face. And I said, I don't care if you sleep with sheep. It's none of my business, your sex life. I said, you know, you want a spiritual life? She said, yes, you qualify 100%. All the rest of it is your karma. And I am not here to tell you how to work out your karma. I'm here to nurture you so you can grow closer to God. And that dialogue exists between each individual and God, not me. I am not an intermediary, you know, to tell people how to live. So what I'm saying is get stronger, dear. Build that system inside that whatever people say, it really doesn't matter. It's their problem. It's not your problem. And you trust that God is sending these people to you to find out whether or not it's your problem. And if it is your problem, then you have to get stronger. To where it's not a problem what other people think. I mean, Rudy once said, you know, he, he once <laughs> did a whole meditation. He told the class, I'm not running for Miss America. You don't have to like me. Just take the energy. You know, take the energy. Grow spiritually. Build a connection with God. Use this Shakti to grow in your life. You don't have to like me. I believe the same thing. Nobody has to like me. Just I... I'm a vehicle for this energy. You know, <laughs> take the energy. You don't have to agree or disagree. Just take the energy and grow. Build your connection to God and let that connection work out your karma. You know, take you on a path that is each individual's unique path to find their enlightenment. All this meditation does is provide energy for us to learn how to do that. I hope, I hope this is clear. You know, it's a very important subject, this subject, because we're all confronted by it. Everybody has opinions about the way we're supposed to live. <laughs> Nobody has opinions about the way they're supposed to live, but they have great opinions about how everybody else is supposed to live. And if you'll pardon my Bronxese, it's all bullshit. It's just insecurity. People are covering up their own insecurity their own problems, their own lack of a spiritual life, the big holes that are inside them that they don't know what to do with, by telling people, I know better how you should live. I mean, I know people say Christ is the only way, the Buddha is the only way. That's their belief. They should, if they really believe that, it's wonderful. They should practice it and become a child of God. And not going around preaching to other people about the way other people are supposed to live. Does anyone else have a question?
Okay, if there are no more questions, I'll just announce it again. Beginning next Monday for a week, uh, there'll be no, I'm going to be going on a vacation. So the next class here will be after, there'll be class on Thursday and Sunday. But the following Tuesday, I'm, I'm, I'm going on vacation. I need a vacation. I need to just get away from everything, go to a place where it's not familiar to me and and just read, group, come back and continue to do this, bring much more energy. Okay, if there are no questions, then God bless you all. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody on Thursday. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you, Stuart. Thank you. Come on your side, dear. Okay. Don't worry about people's opinions. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.